Hi, I'm Ahuva Gamliel, and this is installment number four of Why We're Still Single, aka the Get a Clue Workshop for Men. Recently, I ran into one of my neighbors who told me that he was moving to another country because he couldn't find a nice girl here. I couldn't believe that he said this, um, and since I was just seeing him in passing in the hallway, I didn't have the opportunity to retort my side of the story. So I sent him a Get a Clue email on Facebook, and I'm going to read that email for you now. Dear so-and-so, nice seeing you today. Ah, uh, the grass is always greener on the other side. Listen, I gotta tell you something. You are going there because you claim that you can't find what you want here, but I want to point something out to you. Ever since I've known you, about a year or so, you were dating a shiksa. So when you are with someone else, regardless if they are marriage material or not, you are energetically closed to meeting the one. You are not in a position to receive it. You, so you think that if the one came along, you just dump the shiksa and go to the one, right? Wrong. It doesn't work that way. You have to be open to receive your beshert. That means your soulmate, for those of you who don't speak Yiddish. There are so many nice girls here. In fact, if some of my nice Jewish girlfriends were men, I'd be married by now. You claim that the women here are superficial? Excuse me? I wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine, and the first thing you said was, she's not my type. You wouldn't even go to coffee with her. Sometimes a picture does not do justice to a 3D person. What, what are you looking for, a Jewish Jennifer Aniston? Your, pro your profile picture portrays yourself as being rather superficial, bro. I hate to tell you. When a guy is showing off his muscles to attract women, it's quite obvious that the exterior is of utmost importance to him, not the heart and soul. I am sorry to bring up the obvious, but what you are running away from is yourself, my friend. Anyway, I hope that was a little insightful and helpful. My intention is not to insult you, but rather to prevent this illusion from occurring the place that you're moving to as well. I hope that you grow and evolve to appreciate what's inside at least as much as what's on the outside. Bahatzlacha, that means that you should have great success. I hope you find what you're looking for. I have to laugh a little about it because of the example or the story, in Hebrew the word is mashal, it's a lesson of the guy who travels far away to search for a treasure, only to learn that it was right in his backyard the whole time. Anyway, happy trails to you. Go get her. Smiley face, Ahuba. So that was the story in a, in a nutshell, basically, um, that the person claimed that there were no nice single Jewish girls in Miami, so he had to move to another country to find one. So my clue number four in the Get a Clue workshop is that if you're looking to marry a nice Jewish girl, then you need to stop dating the non-Jewish girls. Duh! <coughs> Okay, and now for my um, second impersonation of my rabbi. And again, in case you didn't see the last installment, I want to put a disclaimer or preface that I have nothing but the utmost respect and admiration for my rabbi. He is our community leader, and I would never do anything to offend him. And it's only because I know that he has a great sense of humor that I even joke around with these impersonations. So this is an impersonation of my rabbi cracking his neck in one moment. There you have it, folks. <laughs> Stay posted. There's more to come. Until then, bye-bye.